In this video, we're gonna build a little AI application that allows us to scrape LinkedIn profiles for a particular lead or user, take that information, run it through an AI bot, and then print out a hyper-personalized cold email for that particular person. All we're gonna need is just a simple lead sheet with a person's name and their LinkedIn URL. And hopefully if you wanna send out the email, their email too. I'm gonna to show you how to build this script and how you can use it. I do wanna warn you though, this was just kind of a project that I wanted to do. I don't really know how well it's gonna work in practice, but I thought I'd share it anyway. So with that all out of the way, let me show you how it works. So for a quick demo on how this works, I basically have this super simple single person puppeteer script here that goes into Gary Vaynerchuk's LinkedIn, scrapes the entire LinkedIn page, and then uses ChatGPT to make a cold email and then prints it to my console. So if I just run this script real quick, it opens up LinkedIn, goes to his page, and then two seconds later, we have a little email here in the console. Hey, Gary, really impressed by how you're building Vanner X, Vanner Media into marketing powerhouses. Just wondering if you're considering automating your marketing or sales systems at Vanner Media. We've helped similar companies save 10 to 20 hours a week automating these tasks while improving conversion rates. Is this something that interests you? Cheers, Mike. Huge fan of Gary V audio experience. Look at that. A very cool personalized email all made with AI in seconds. Then we take this one step further. So this is for just one LinkedIn person here, but I have this data one CSV file with a couple different people that all have LinkedIn profiles here. If I run this multiperson.js script, I'll run node multiperson. It will actually go through all of the LinkedIn profiles and make cold emails for all of them. At the very end, it made this data2.csv. And if I open this up in Excel, I don't have a lot of people here because I've been burning through open AI credits, but we have basically our original CSV file with our information and then our response emails for each person. We can kind of come through here and see them all. Impressive work connecting job seekers with opportunities. P.S. Your dedication as a foreign military veteran is truly commendable. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Impressive to see your positive impact and leadership at company name. Saw you're a skillful educator. That's a rare combo with business acumen. Look at that. So just some personalized emails for these people all made in bulk. You can throw this into whatever kind of cold email messenger that you use. So now that you know how to use this, as of right now, I haven't even built the thing yet. So let's hop on over to VS Code and start building this. So I'm over on VS VS code and we're gonna be making a simple puppeteer node project to let us scrape the page of a particular user's LinkedIn profile, kind of edit that information a little bit and then spit out that information that we can then feed into an open API request to then get a customized email based on the person's LinkedIn information. This will allow us to make super personalized emails based off a little email script that I came up with for my business and hopefully you can swap out the information to do the same for you. We're gonna start by coming over here and making a simple node project. I already kind of know this now, but if you don't, you can always go to ChatGPT to help if you need help. NPM in it and this will create a simple node project. Just gonna say yes to everything and then type in npm install puppeteer because we're gonna be using puppeteer to get the information. We can make a new file here. I'm just gonna call this index.js and now we'll come on over to GitHub Copilot for this one just because I got banned from ChatGPT for using it too much. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? We're gonna say, can you make me a simple puppeteer script to go to LinkedIn, then wait three seconds and use the same user directory. We want to use the same user directory because on the first time we're going to log into LinkedIn. So every time it goes to LinkedIn, it already has our login credentials. I'll just take this, paste it in over here, and then I'll just run the code with a very simple node index. So this is going to hop on over here. All right, what do we have? So looks like our page timeout is not a function. I think this is something a little bit different with my node version. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's this promise resolve set timeout. We're going to this one instead. So if I paste in the new code here, you'll see, yeah, we have a little bit different of a function here for the waiting node index. There we go. Look at that. We're now on to linkedin.com. And just to kind of cheat here, because it took me a long time to figure out in order to get rid of like the grayness around the window here, we're going to want to put in this parameter into our little puppeteer launch section here. I don't know why, but every time I try to add this when chatting with the AI, it never seems to work. But what this will do is 
basically allow us to make the window stretch to the entire shape of the browser. Look at that. So now we're inside our LinkedIn thing here. The issue that we have when we are using LinkedIn is if we're not logged in and let's just say we try to go to like my profile. If you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn already just yet, make sure you do that. Come on now. You'll see it goes to this join LinkedIn thing here where we have to sign in. So if we were to scrape this without signing in, we'd always be brought with something like this. So to do that, what we need to do is just log in using Puppeteer and our user directory. This will basically make a Chrome browser instance for us with our data. Fantastic. So now that I'm in LinkedIn, every time that I load into my scraper and go to a LinkedIn URL, it'll actually go to that correct URL here. You'll see I'm already logged in. I don't have to do anything. So now we have full access to use LinkedIn to scrape stuff. And today we're going to start off by sending our cold email to none other than Gary V. I chose Gary V because he has a boatload of stuff on his LinkedIn profile. It allowed me to test what kind of works and what doesn't work. So if we pop in Gary V's URL into here, look at that. Perfect. So now that we have this, we're going to scrape Gary V's page. We're going to put this back into GitHub Copilot chat here and then say, when you get to the page, can you scrape the entire page for its text? What I'm actually going to do instead of saying the entire page for its text is we're going to scrape only a part of the page. If I inspect element on LinkedIn here, I've already looked at this a little bit, but there's this main class scaffold layout main here, which this class basically includes every main section here of what we're looking for. So we want things like honors and rewards, company names some about section stuff, because this will allow us to get personalized information that we can then use to prompt the AI to let us make a more customized, personalized email for our user, in this case, Gary V. So we're gonna wanna take this specific class here to get this information so it uses stuff like his about and, and the experience and maybe his um, honors and rewards. So I'm gonna copy this class here and then head back over. And then instead of saying the entire page, can you scrape this class and print all the text? There we go. So now it'll scrape the text inside of this element here. Let's give this a shot. And three seconds later, we get this in the terminal, which is all of Gary V's goods from his LinkedIn account. Now let's take all of this and let's put it in a new folder here. I'll just call this test for now, but I basically want to go through and kind of explain some of the stuff on this page real quick. We're going to want to get rid of any of this duplicate stuff and we're going to actually have to cut cut this information down for our prompt because this is way too much context to give the AI, to be honest. I haven't come up with a really good algorithm to kind of parse this and come up with the best information to use. Also B, it'll get very expensive if we just put all this into GPT because it is a lot of information. We're gonna take our index function here and then we're gonna say, we're gonna say, can you remove any duplicate text when it gets console log? So basically when this console log here, which puts it in the console here of all the information, we want it to just kind of go through and split yeah any words so it removes the duplicates ah actually wait maybe we don't want this we want it to actually what i'm gonna do instead is this don't make it remove words if there is duplicate lines remove that like this and then paste in some examples of what the lines look like okay so it splits the text into lines and then it joins them back together okay so that i think will be a little bit better because we only want the unique line so if i run this one now and let's see what it comes up with okay i think this should be a a little bit better. There we go. So now we have the same information, but none of it is duplicate. It's all unique information. Okay, perfect here. And then one last thing we're going to do is we're gonna say, we're gonna say, can you trim this so it's max a thousand words that get printed? We're gonna wanna do this because like I said before, if we have too many words, it'll actually end up costing us a ton of money and we won't get that good of results with it. I've kind of found a thousand as the sweet spot. So it's telling me to input this little function here. I'm just kind of cleaning it up to get the unique words and then print out the trimmed context. So this hopefully, we'll run this again, should just be a little bit less than what we've been getting before. This would be a perfect amount of context for us. Okay, not bad. I don't know where it was getting extra words from. Maybe I was adding in some extra ones by accident, but so now that we have our context here, what we need to do is now put this context inside of our prompt to then prompt OpenAI ChatGPT to give us an email based on this information. And I've come up with this little email prompt here. Make a simple cold email that follows this exact structure. 
and then gives hey the first name so it finds the first name in the linkedin puts it in here then creates a short authentic and genuine 15 word compliment relevant to the business be specific so we want to use the context that we got from linkedin to then generate this short, authentic, genuine compliment to make our email super personalized to the person's LinkedIn. So we're kind of prompting it to maybe take like an accolade or a business or something in their bio to come up with this sentence here. Then we can kind of structure it like we would a regular cold email campaign email. Um, just wondering if you ever considered automating your marketing or sales systems at the company, which would be the company that they have listed in their LinkedIn. We've helped similar companies save 10 to 20 hours a week automating these tasks while improving Improving conversion rates. Is this something that interests you? Cheers, Mike. And then a PS statement with a relevant, fun, short, 10 word max PS statement about the person's LinkedIn. Then I say, replace the expressions with relevant information that was pulled from the person's LinkedIn. And the LinkedIn will be given after here. Make sure that it's very short, as concise as possible, and straight to the point. Use this information, write the email only, and follow the structure. So this is gonna be our prompt here. So over in OpenAI, I just got into the OpenAI playground in their API feature. I'm on the chat mode right now. I'm just going to put in the prompt that we've been building here inside of this box here. And this will basically be our testing grounds for our little bot here. Let's test this out. So if I copy all of Gary V's information here, put this inside of here. So this is what our prompt will look like pretty much. It's going to be our top prompt here and then all the relevant information about Gary V's profile right here. And then we just click on submit. We're going to use ChatGPT4 for this one. Hey Gary, your innovative approaches to digital communications at VannerX are truly inspirational. Just wondering if you ever consider automating your marketing or sales systems at Vanner Media. We've helped similar companies save 10 to 20 hours a week automating these tasks while improving conversion rates. Is this something that interests you? Cheers, Mike. P.S. Your 2024 Super Bowl strategy article was a game changer. That's pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. That prompt alone already gives us a, I would say, very solid cold email, better than a lot of the cold emails that I get. That's personalized, targeted. It even has this fun P.S. statement down here that is really personalized. Let's do this. I'm going to make a new chat window and I'm going to put in our prompt that we've been using. I'm going to make sure everything is spelled correct to yeesh and then we're just going to come up to the view code here and we're going to want to take this node.js post completions here and this will basically be exactly what we need in order to get our little thing to run so we're going to take this i'll copy our code and then come back into here i'm going to pull up index.js i'm actually going to copy this first i'm going to make a new window here i'm going to copy this copy this and i'm going to say after you get the text pass it as the prompt in this at the end and then i'm going to paste in the code from OpenAI, and then along with the console results. This is kind of an out there prompt, but the goal of it is, is to take that information we just got from LinkedIn, pass it through our open AI API call, and then it will print out the email that we're looking for. So I'm going to copy our new code here, come back into here, and I'm going to make this just called 2.js to keep it simple. Also, we're going to have to import open AI because we're importing this right here. So we can just type in npm install open AI. So we have our content here, make a simple email, Cheers. Replace the expressions with the relevant information. Uh Okay, and then puts in the trimmed content. I'm actually gonna remove this. Just say plus trimmed content. I found that this works a little bit better, but I think it's the same thing. So now our entire prompt is the same prompt that we used in the open AI playground. And then when we run this, it'll hopefully console log the response. We're say node two, we got an error. Oh, we need our open API key. All right, that makes sense. I'm gonna use this API key that I got from open AI. If you don't know how to get an API key, you can basically head on over to your API keys in your open AI dashboard and I'm I'm just gonna slap mine in here for now to make it simple. Give this a shot. Goes to LinkedIn. And there we go. Look at that. So now after it went to the page and then gave this completion. It didn't actually print the email that we wanted. Let's put this in here. Say, so can you console log the message response from the API call? We're gonna want to use this console log responses choices message here. What this does is it basically goes through our response here. So our response is this JSON structure here. It's basically this thing here. We're looking for the response. 
in the response, we're going to look for the choices. And in the choices here, we're going to want to find the first message. So it'll be this right here. Um, so it's basically going to print out this information. Look at that. Okay, fantastic. What I'm going to do is this then I'm going to say dot content as well. So this is printing out the message, we want the content of the message. So I'm going to just have it print out the content node two. look at that. Fantastic. We have our same kind of script here with banner media. Congrats on making it to the top 50 influential people in the NFT industry. Look at that. This is basically the start of what could be a large automated email campaign. Um, but what we're going to do is take this one step further. I'm going to name this as single person JS. And you'll be able to get this exact script down in the description below. What we're going to do instead is now we can take information from a CSV file and then run it through the CSV file with all of the LinkedIn's with all the people's names and then spit out an entire new CSV file with all the emails. So we can bulk make all these automated emails. It's kind of the goal with this, right? We don't want one cold email. We want a ton of cold emails that are all personalized at scale. Let's do that. I'm going to use this test dummy data that I got from one of my Apollo scrapers. You can check out all the videos on that. I have this data one CSV file here with just some information that I grabbed off of Apollo. It's got the email, the company name, the first name, full name, last name, and the LinkedIn URL. So it has a kind of column here. You can see by the colors of all of the LinkedIn URLs. Um, and we can actually just have this code here, read the CSV file, look for the column with the LinkedIn, and then say, run this through every every LinkedIn profile and then put the responses that we got inside a new column in the CSV file and print that new CSV file. And then we can use that CSV file and things like instantly or whatever kind of email sender you're using to then say, Hey, the first cold email send this column of cold emails that we automatically generated. And then you can even have this do it for, you know, multiple stages of cold emails that are super personalized. If you want this to make like four different emails, you can have them put in four different columns, all personalized that are fine tuned and tweaked to the person's LinkedIn and then have it send each of those individually, right? There's a lot you can do with this. But for now, we'll just have it iterate on the list here. We're going to take our single person here, and I'm going to paste it inside of this. We're going to say, can you take the CSV file data onecsv and have it find the LinkedIn URL column and then open and scrape each URL in the CSV and then put the response from the open AI API call into a new column as email at the end of the columns in the CSV. This is an example of the CSV. CSV. And then I'm just going to put in a little bit of this CSV here titles of the columns and then also our data. So in this case, it's telling us we're going to need CSV parser and FS immediately what we're going to do is type in npm install CSV parser, and this will install the required library. And I think we already have FS. But if not, we're going to install FS here, the code will read the data from data one CSV, scrape each LinkedIn, then write the responses in CSV data two. right? Okay, so let's see, let's copy this code. And let's kind of go through it. We're going to do multi person.js and paste this in here. So the changes it made. All right, I think this is looking all right. It has our functions here to split the stuff. It has our correct prompt in here also includes the text at the end, which is great. Let's give this a shot then say node multi person give this a good old whack things are happening guys. This may take a little while. So I'll just sit here and kind of wait for it. Okay, let's see what we came up with. So now we have this new data 2.csv. Oh boy. I think it worked, but I think it's a little bit buggy. Let's check this out in Excel. Oh my God, rats. This did not work. It messed with the data completely. I had high hopes for this one. You can kind of see it parse the HTML and the commas with all these different cells here. Like this is on a different line from this. I think that's what the issue was. It didn't actually put it in like quotes. So when it posted it to the CSV file, it put it in like a weird box like this. So I'm going to paste in the code and this and then say, all right, can you edit this? So when the email response gets written to the CSV, it stays in one cell. Right now it gets put all over the place in different cells because the open AI response is an email. Oh my God, I have to wait one minute. It's giving me a step-by-step -step play by of what needs to happen here. I like where this is going. We shall use this. I'm going to copy over the code, come back in a chat GPT. I'm just going to 
do one of those and let's give this a whack and here we go guys finally so now you can see here we have our emails company name first name full name last name linkedin and then our response so this response is basically our email that we made for each of the people look at that so now we have our little information statement here cheers and then a ps statement look at that now i don't have a lot of people here just because it does kind of get expensive you kind of get the idea you can put more people into this file here and it will print out all of them for you but yeah from here you can go and upload this file to wherever you want and send out your cold emails once again this is just kind of a fun script to show you what's possible with making ai generated cold emails you can download them and check them out for yourself and play around with it make some changes and get them working for whatever you want to do also if you want to work with me in any kind of ai project or automation make sure to book a time with me down in the description below and we can figure out how to save you more time and make more money but if you want to know how to get leads and emails or this LinkedIn email maker, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video here where I make an Apollo web scraper extension so you can scrape basically unlimited leads from Apollo. So I'll see you guys over in that video.